Hey friends, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with the OSP Pro. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to write white spacing and what's it all about. So there's something called white space in programming. Okay? White space is simply just that line of spaces in your program. For instance, if I'm going to write a program like me print for me hello, maybe print for me hello world. We can also create up a white space in my program. Just that distance you write a given program and another program will be. Like for instance, this is going to be maybe I love programming. Me having there's love programming and I give my same colon. This is the first statement, but you see the distance? Now this distance you give, this space you give in the program is nothing. If you save this program and you compile it and try to get the own output, you shall discover, you shall get everything in one line. Which is not true as what we may expect as initially on what we have given down here. For us we think that this is going to be written on its own line and then this is going to be taken some good distance or over and then this is going to be printed out. Which is a different scenario based on what I've just done for you guys on this video around here. If you try to do this in programming, it's good, but then white spacing is ignored lines. The spaces ignored in your program. For instance, you can even also give this same colon with very many spaces in the program. As long as there's nothing in between this part of the program, the program will indicate as if there's nothing. So we think as if there's nothing there, so to transfer this and bring it just underneath there after the column, to give the same column after the brackets. If you compile this program, you will not get an error and you will get the output as that. So that's just with the white spacing, the spaces you make in your program and then you give. Uh, but if I write like this, is it also white space? Because some of you guys are about to ask me. How about if I write my program like that and then trying to print, my friend, it will still be taken as white space in programming. As long as there's nothing there, if you give something there, then see what will behave, that's it. It will behave in that funny way. But this, how about if I break this and I break these codes of mine like that? Because I know you guys, you program differently. <laughs> you get, will it bring any problem to you? You'll not get, get any program. You'll not get any problem in your program. That implies in a simple term, you dare guys, you can just write your C program this way. So print F, open up the bracket, come down and put some color. Come inside here in your program and then you print. But don't forget, don't use double single quote there, use double quote. Maybe hello one. You get? And if you try to run this program, trust me, it has to work for you as expected. Is it okay? So with the white space and explaining how codes are written in C programming, that's how they do it. Otherwise, don't come in here and give same code. That's what I've just said. They have to give you an error because that's not how they indicate a program in C. So definitely have to give the double quote. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys love it and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and run all of a course if you're interested and then join this course with us. So guys, thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. Thank you.